Hi there. So checking in on your goals. So at the start of the year, no matter what social media platform you went on, it's all about goals, be your best self, you know, be the best business you can be, the best manager you can be, the best leader you can be, the best person you could be in 2023. And that's all good stuff. You know, I've I've no issue with any of that. But you can get caught up in a lot of that and it can get all uh, very, very consuming. And at the start of the year, we're all full of energy and we're all full of beans and we're going to try and make this our best year ever. And that's fantastic. But normally it's around this week or maybe even next week where maybe people start to hit a little bit of a bump in the road or find it a little bit more challenging. And that's why it's important to remember that when we set our goals and we when we set off on a journey, it's not going to be a straight line. It's not going to just be a line of, of progress like this. It's going to be a little bit of a roller coaster. And just to remember that you're going to have highs and you're also going to have a few lows and a few setbacks, but not to get too caught up in the setback and just see it as being just a normal part of the process and not that we've gone back 20 steps or that we need to start all over again. It's also a good time, I think, as well, just to check in in terms of what our goals were. And, you know, do they really still make sense to us? You know, do we need to adjust them? So one of the questions I always ask people when we're doing goal setting is, you know, well, why? Why is this a goal for you? What is it that you're looking to achieve with the goal? And is the goal serving you? You know, if you're serving the goal, that defeats the purpose. The goal is to get you to where you want to get to, be that in your professional life or in your personal life. So we need to do a check in to make sure that that's OK. And again, keep in mind that it is a process. It is a journey. You know, I've spoken many times about that great book, Atomic Habits by James Clear. And it's about looking at the journey ahead and then breaking it down into the smallest steps you can take. You know, no giant steps, small, small steps. Break it down into manageable bite size pieces of change. And then if you compound them, that's where the big change comes. The big change comes over time. It doesn't happen immediately. And by taking small steps and repeating and repeating that over and over, that's where you get that fundamental change. And that's where ultimately it's a lot more sustainable. And it's something that's really going to stick with you in the longer term. Another key point I'd say at this time, you know, when you're reassessing your goals and you're evaluating how they're going, is say, look, you know, do I need a little bit of help at this point? And look around you and say, okay, so who can help me now in these slightly more challenging days that are inevitable, that are part of any journey? Who can I call on? Who are the people who can help me in this time just to make sure that I stay on track and you don't feel that you have to start all over again? So key message really is goals at the start of the year are great. Uh, but just check in now, see how they're going. Are they serving you? If you're finding them challenging, who can you get help from? And if you need to reassess, that's OK. You know, it's all about making sure that your goals are serving you and that ultimately they're going to get you to where you want to be. So hope that helps.